first I would just say students incredible turnout um, you know I mean just really impressive I thought you know when we walked out um, I'm sure Virginia State felt it um, I think our guys felt it. I think Ricky felt it because he got tired in the first like 45 seconds and um, I was kind of like is he okay? Because he made like two trips up, and then the third trip he's like huffing and puffing and trailing the play. It's how they got their first basket. And I think what happens is you get you know kind of hyped up to play for the first time, and then you come into that environment, and it, you, it gets you to another place as a player. And I think he, he like ran out of gas in the lamp lines. Uh, so that's somewhat typical of the first game. But I think the students actually made that happen, which is awesome. And if it can be done, and it has been done now, right, then it can be done again, over and over and over again. Then you create, like, the environment that we want. Um, so hopefully Friday will be great as well, and, uh, and we'll move forward from there. And I, I just thought it was awesome. All right, questions, Marcus? Just to get it out of the way, getting this first win yeah. under your belt, just from a personal standpoint with your journey, getting yeah. to this point, just can you describe your feelings? Yeah, you know, to be honest, I don't. It's I don't think too much about it. Believe it or not, um, it's great. You know, you'd much rather win than lose. Um, our group is only going to be together one year, right? The, the guys in that locker room and me and my staff, and you don't know what happens when the season ends, right? Who comes, who goes, what have you. So, uh, for me, um, you know, I'm not. I, I yeah, listen. It's great to win. I'm excited that we got it out of the way, but it's really about the journey of this group. Uh, and uh, my journey hopefully will keep going on for a long, 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 long time, and then we can think about that afterwards. But uh, while we're in it, it's really about the, those group of guys and, and their experience. And Hunter and Brendan, you know, they've been dinged up during the yeah. season at times. This is yeah. really your first time seeing everyone as cohesive. Yeah. Unit. Is it what you imagine it would look like having a full four? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously those guys are very, very important. Um, and in Hunter's case, Hunter was – it was on a minutes restriction. So I it was about 16 minutes. I looked. We got 16.21, so we had him like 21 seconds over. So I might get I might get dinged for that uh, by Steven. But, um, it, yeah, what's unfortunate is that we haven't had those guys together, those five guys really, Hunter, in the starting lineup uh, in, the, in the fall. And so in, in a way I'm, I'm – I'm a little like, yeah, we're not quite far as far along as I thought we would be at the end of the summer because at the end of the summer I thought, okay, we made very nice progress with those five guys, and then I never had them together really until this week all together. And so there's going to be, you know, the newness is there's going to be some mistakes and stuff, but certainly just not having them for the 40 practices or whatever, um, you know, it'll take us some time. It's going to take us time within now the next couple of weeks when it, unfortunately, we've got to play games while that's going on, so we've got to figure out how to build some chemistry while we're playing. Um, but those guys, obviously, are, I mean, I thought they were both, like, you know, very good tonight. I thought B.A. had some uncharacteristic turnovers, but uh, other than that, obviously, he shot the ball very well. Um, oh, sorry. Go ahead, okay, go ahead um, So just looking at the statue, the thing that really pops out to me is Ricky Lindo plus 30. Um, didn't score a ton, but can you just talk about his impact on other aspects of the court? Yeah, you know, and I'm, I'm, it's it's on me. I'm I'm trying to find ways to help him. Uh, I need to do a better job of that. Um, he rebounded the heck out of the ball. Gets ten rebounds in in 25 minutes. So that's that's big time, right? That's that, that's one every like one and a half minutes or whatever it is, right? So that's big time. Um, I thought he made some really good defensive plays, blocks, steals. Um, had a few assists. Um, got to continue to help him offensively, and he's got to continue to help himself offensively. Uh, but, you know, there's not a lot of guys in our league running around with his size and athleticism. His way, way to impact the game with the size and athleticism that, that he can. He switched every pick and roll tonight, you know, one through four. And those are, you know, the thing about Division Two. those guys are fast. Sometimes they're a little bit smaller, but they're very fast. And you know, he, I thought, did a pretty good job of keeping those guys in front. 18 turnovers tonight wasn't yeah. was a little sloppy. Can you just talk through what you were seeing out on the court that led to the, the insecurities with the ball? Did we had 18 or, or 15? Yeah, 18. All right. Oh. 
I don't know. I'm looking at 50. How many assists do we have? 16 on 30 yeah. field goals. Yeah, I think that's encouraging to me. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Jeez. All right. So at least we're positive. Um, we keep attempted assists. I think I talked about that, right? So I want to look at that. I do think in the zone, especially that type of zone, we had to put the ball to the ground a little bit more. But I would hope that that assist, attempt at assist number is up over 30, you know, 31, 32 would be my guess. The turnovers, um, yeah, I think some of them are like silly. Um, and we just got to continue to correct them. And, you know, we haven't turned it over terrible in uh, practice or anything like that. But I thought maybe it was a little bit of nerves and stuff tonight, too. A couple of like bonehead ones that you should be able to correct, you know. Um, I asked Brennan and uh, James this, but 15 for 27 on free throws, yeah. uh, 6 for 13 in the first half. Is that something that worries you at all, or is it just they didn't fall and we'll just move on? It's always about who's shooting them, and then JB misses the three at the end of the half, So, which that's 9, 10, 11. So he would have been 11 for 12. Everybody else kind of like split, you know, like. So, um, I don't know. No, it doesn't really worry me. I mean, I, I've been around teams that practice free throws all the time, that never practice free throws. You know, the best way to shoot good free throws is get good free throw shooters, you know. And so when JB is there and he's, like, shooting three to end the half, and I'm thinking, all right, that's pretty good. We're up 16 and going to come out with the ball, and then he misses all three. I'm like, okay. So, um, no, I'm not, I'm not super concerned. Uh, I'm just looking here. Yeah, no, I'm okay. The game, the game was pretty close to the first half. We mm -hmm. went on a went on a big run to end the half, and then the second half pulled away. What mm -hmm. do you think clicked for the team? Um, I, I, again, I have to. I'm gonna have to watch, but uh, you know, I, I I think that we did a good job running right uh, and taking advantage of them there. I think anytime JP has the ball, good things happen. You know, and you're trying to mix it up with him and Brendan with the ball. And again, I, Brendan had some uncharacteristic turnovers, but, you know, finding that balance for JB of like, hey, he's got to be off the ball some, but also when he has it, uh, when you get 21 points and nine assists and one turnover, in fact, I don't think, how many, he didn't have many turnovers against Westcon, right? And he had like six assists. So like, that's pretty good. Yeah, you know, so we have to make sure he's in situations, in pick and rolls, what have you. Um, and I think that's probably what worked in, at the end of the half. Defensively, the numbers look really good on paper yeah. um, with how you held them uh, to a low shooting percentage. But yeah. just from a coach's eye, as the game was going on, how did you feel like you were playing defensively? And were they getting to the spots where you wanted them to get to? Yeah, I would say not bad. Not not great, but not bad. Yeah, I think um, you know we got a lot of work to do there, continue to. And... Uh, you know, we're playing uh, a freshman in Max who's, as I've said over and over, you know, he's he's going to – he made some great plays tonight. And then, you know, he's got plays that – a freshman type plays. And i got to continue to get him daily up to speed to try to, as we get into league play, like, okay, man, like you're getting a lot of airtime here. You're flying the plane a lot. Like you should be able to land it now, right? And that's, you know, for him, I think that's a big thing. We, we're fouling too much. Our team's – have not fouled a lot throughout the years. I got to probably do a better job there, um, but uh, I think we're giving a lot of effort. I also think, you know, there's times when <clears throat> we're leveling the ball and, and with our chest, and and fouls are being called, and um, you know we just got to do a better job of showing our hands and 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 really hope that that the whistle doesn't get blown there. You know. Last ball. How do you feel, and like, how have you integrated yourself into a team that? Most of their players are returning. You know, you only have you're new. Maybe yeah. you have like a handful of uh, players who are new, but then the rest, you know, yeah. they've all built this chemistry up. So, how have you kind of, you know, integrated yourself? In it's harder on me than it is on them, because I have to get to know fourteen. They only have to get to know one. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say that the staff too. You know, but yeah, no, it's part of it is you know you got to seek to understand before you're understood. 
And so, you know, you get the, the job and you spend some time in April and May, you know, just trying to get to know both them as people and then uh, their games as best you can uh, before you actually get into competition. And so, um, it, no, it's been great. I mean, I, I've said this over and over, like, there, there's not a better – I'm very lucky that when you take your first head coaching job and you walk into a locker room, you don't know what to expect – and 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 there's a, this group has been great, you know, super super care factor high, uh, attentive, uh, wants to be good, no issues, no attitudes, no selfishness, um, and they're all trying to become good players, and they all want to win, which is really important, and that's a good start when you when you come into a situation. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks guys. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely.